What's up guys, Bodie here, BodieDavison.com. In today's video, we're gonna look at how to design t-shirts using Canva. So how to create them t-shirt designs completely free using Canva. I'm making this video because I know a lot of you guys start out with very little income, so less money to spend on your print on demand journey. So this is a free tool where you can create designs and definitely get some sales that way. This will be a step-by-step -step tutorial on how to use Canva to create them t-shirt designs. But if you're looking for more step-by-step -step guides, check out my channel, there's the print on demand playlist, the Teespring tutorial playlist, and I have the print on demand mastery Facebook page. Have a look around there, have a look in the group, make sure you join, and there's heaps of tips that will help you guys out. If you're new to the channel, I like to talk about print on demand and making money online, so please hit subscribe, like the video, and comment below any questions or video suggestions you have, and I'll be sure to get right back to you. Now let's get into today's video. Okay guys, so how to design t-shirts using Canva. Here we are on Canva. I'm only using the free version because I wanna show you guys what you can do on the free version. There is a pro version which you get more features and you can do things like transparent backgrounds, etc. But we're just sticking with the free version because we're all about how can you make some money online, doing your print on demand without investing too much money up front. So the first thing you'll see down here is that I actually make a lot of my thumbnails on Canva and I also use Placeit, which is something that I've talked to you guys about before. So place it is a paid tool and um, then I like to create the logos and then yeah, use Canva to create my thumbnails as well. So Canva is something that I'll use almost daily between my print on demand business and also YouTube. If after this video you're still struggling with Canva, they do have a learn tab here so you can learn how to use all of Canva's features. Make sure you check that out if you ever get stuck. So the first thing you'll see is this search bar here. So just click on that and it'll give you some suggested ones here, but also it has the custom dimensions. So you can click on that. Once you know the custom dimensions that you want for your shirt, because it is different on different platforms, you just click on this and put it in and then leave it on PX for pixels. So one thing that will pop up to you is that the maximum you can have is 5,000 by 5,000 on Canva. And I don't know if that's different on the pro version, but it definitely is this on the uh, free version. Once you have your custom dimensions, then it's gonna bring you to this page and there'll be a lot of different results here for you to go through. You can upload your own files so you can have custom things that you've uploaded. And obviously I do that for when I'm creating my thumbnails. And then you can have photos. These are some of the photos that you might be able to use. Obviously it's plugging Halloween and Christmas up here as well because it's giving you suggestions on upcoming trends that you could possibly make different things for. The next tab down here is elements. Now elements are gonna come in handy because there's a lot of different ones that you can use for different shirt designs. Like let's say we want to do something about money. You'll see that there's free ones and then there's paid ones. So these ones here are in the pro version and um, there's a lot of free ones that you can use as well. Next tab down, you've got text. So text here, there's a lot of cool ones that they've brought out recently where they look quite good. They used to all be fairly basic and you would just have to change the fonts, but now they actually come with things like this. And um, you can actually make some really good looking t-shirts using some of these. So something like this will actually look really cool on a t-shirt. If you have something on your design here and you don't like the look of it, you can either just click on it and then press delete. Or if you had it on there and you want to get rid of it, you can just click it and drag it off. Once you drag it off, it's completely gone off there. So as we scroll down, like I was saying, you can see that there's quite a few uh, really cool pre-made designs and you can create yours out of that. But also let's say you just want to add some sort of headache and then change the text around. You can come up here and there is a heap of different ones that you can use. Obviously these ones with the crown are the ones that are paid so you would need the pro version for that, but there's still a lot of options for you to make, a lot of text-based t-shirt designs. And I can tell you now, text-based t-shirt designs are the ones that sell the most. So the basic text-based t-shirt designs that you see are usually the ones that will sell the best. This has been proven over and over again, and it's been proven in many people's businesses. So if you have t-shirts that are gray, blue, white, and black, they're the most common colors that sell. And then if you have text-based designs that are either trending topics or just a good play on words or some sort of good quote, things like that, some sort of slogan, those things sell really well with t-shirts. One of the things that I like to teach you guys is to get onto trends because trends can be really good. So Father's Day, Mother's Day, Halloween, like I said, Christmas, 
there's a lot of different things that you can create designs and especially these text-based t-shirt designs that I'm talking about, a play on words or something to do with the festive season, to do with Christmas, something to do with Halloween. These sorts of designs will sell and it's so easy to make them on something like Canva. So for today's video, let's just go have a look on Google for some sort of Halloween uh, design that's going on. It's Halloween this weekend and we'll have a look and see if there's any sort of shirts that pop up and then just make our own sort of version of it. So we'll go Halloween t-shirt on Google here and let's just have a quick look through and see what's selling. I can't adult today, I'm a pumpkin, I like that. Some days I'm extra witchy, Halloween 2020. <laughs> Someone in my group actually had a design just like that, maybe that's their design. Funny play on words. So as I said, a lot of these uh, basic shirts are the ones that will sell the most. You can see some copyright things like that Friends logo, obviously that will get you in trouble but there is a lot of different shirt designs that you'll be able to get some good ideas from. So just having a quick look here and just for this video's example, let's just make this one here so you can't scare me, I'm a teacher. This is a really good design that would be, you know, good for Halloween and obviously targeting teachers, things like that, or a great gift for someone who's a teacher. So as I said, there's a few different ways we can do this. We can use one of these down here that look cool or we can just add a heading and then change up the font and go from there. So let's do that first. So let's say this is going to go onto a black t-shirt. Let's just change all this font to white for now. So all I've done there is clicked on the background, change the color up here to black, and then change the font by clicking on that and colors just here and change the font to white. So let's just work with this as if we're gonna design onto a black t-shirt. So white text. And these are basic designs, but a black shirt with white text really sells well. It stands out. Most people like wearing black, like a black's a common color, and uh, the white text really stands out and looks good on a t-shirt. So when you click on this, see this spacing here? You can actually change that. So if you come over here, you can go letter and you can go line height. So if we change this, it'll bring it in because sometimes there's a big gap there and it just doesn't look good. So we might bring that in a little bit and then you can actually change the letters by making them go out or in as well. For different designs, it, may, it might make sense to um, squeeze them in or extend them out. It just depends on your design, but just wanted to show you guys that you can actually do that. Now, if we click on this, we can actually change this text as well up here. So let's go through and find a different text. So you can just keep going down, clicking on them, and it'll keep changing them. And then you can uh, have a look at different texts and see what you're looking for. So if you're ever coming down and you keep clicking on all these different texts and wondering which one's actually going to look good, the best tip that I can give you is to go and look up other text-based designs and just sort of see what sort of text they're using. Most of the time, it's a pretty plain text and that seems to sell well. So it just has to be clear. It doesn't have to be something high tech. There is a lot of different texts here, even in the free version. So don't get overwhelmed by that. Just go have a look around have a look through Google and uh, you know the, the site that you wanna sell on, so Teespring or Redbubble, etc. Have a look at those designs and just have a general idea of what that text actually looks like. So as you can see here, this is pretty basic and then there's some, they've just used some different sizing. This is basic, but if we keep having a look around here, you can see that they're all, there's nothing too special about most of these. There's just a few different texts mixed in and you can get your ideas off that and then um, make your own version of it. So once you've decided on the text, the next thing I want to show you is you've got something up here called effects. So you can play with this as well. So you've got shadow and then you've got lift, you've got hollow, splice, echo, uh, glitch, and the neon one as well. So there is a lot of different things that you can do here. Um, let's just stick with none for now, but that does look kind of cool. I don't know that it would transfer that well onto a shirt, but it could do. I like the shadow as well. Next up, let's say that we've got our design here and then we're just gonna go to elements. So because it's going to be to do with Halloween, let's put something in and see if we can find anything for that. So quite a few things pop up here and a lot of them are free. So let's just put something on there like this one looks cool. And the other thing I was going to say is uh, it will actually tell you when you center aligned. So that's center aligned and it'll also align with the other things on the page. As you can see that line comes up. So you can put, put it all center aligned so you know that it's going to line up on the t-shirt and look good. 
and we might even put this little hat on his head as well, right about there. So this would be a very basic design that could go onto a t-shirt. It would come down to you obviously doing your research on what is selling and then creating your own version of what the wording would be or what the design would be. But I just wanted to show you that on Canva, you can actually create these designs using the free version. And then you can just download this and upload it to your print on demand platform. So one thing you guys would be asking me is, can you use these little designs and things like that on the free version of Canva? There is actually something stated on their website that says it is free. The free versions are okay to use for commercial use. So yes, you can use these. You can use these texts, you can use these designs. All the free ones are fine to use for commercial use. And let's say we're done with the design and we're gonna download it now so that we can resize it and also get the transparent background. But uh, so all we would do is go download and PNG is what you want. And as you can see, if you have the pro version, you can straight up do transparent background. So that is one of the bonuses of the pro version. As I said, I don't think you need it. I use place it for most of my designs and there is a way to remove your background as well. So then all you would do is hit download. So we have downloaded it. It's just down here and called add a heading for whatever reason, that's what it's called. But anyway, let's go remove that background. So there's a few different tools you can use for this, but this one is free. It's called online PNG tools. And there's also like remove BG background that I use as well, but this one's easy. So let's click on this. So let's just go make PNG transparent. And then you just click here and upload. We'll grab that add a heading. And as you can see, it is actually removed that background. So it looks funny now, but that's fine. And then as I said, you can see here that that is ready to go onto a black shirt. And it might look a bit weird now because it is transparent in the background, but that will obviously look good on the shirt. And let's say that you need to resize your image because you might be on Merch by Amazon. So that is 4,500 by 5,400. And as I said before, the maximum is 5,000 by 5,000 on the free version of Canva. So you would come to a website like resizeimage.net and you can upload your image and resize it. You're only resizing it by a bit so you won't lose too much quality. It'll look fine. And yeah, this is just a free way. Again, all free tools here today for you to be able to make money online using your print on demand websites. So all we do is click upload image. If it does that, just unclick this so you can make them different. Usually it keeps them in the same aspect ratio and then that's fine. And then we're just gonna make sure that we're also on PNG. So select PNG and then you'll just go resize image. And that's it for today's video guys. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed that. How to design t-shirts using Canva. I hope this tutorial helped you guys out. This is a free tool which is really handy for you guys that are starting with minimal money and wanting to make some money online. So using these free print on demand platforms and also using these free tools is gonna to help you guys get started and also just get you used to making designs and getting better and better at that. And then once you get better at that, your designs get better, you make more sales, it's simple as that. Make sure to join the free Facebook group, Print On Demand Mastery, the link is down below this video. Make sure to also check out the channel, there's the Teespring tutorial playlist and the Print On Demand playlist, and there's a lot of how-to guides to help you guys make money online and with your entrepreneurship journey. Please give this video a like for me, comment below any video suggestions or just questions in general, I'll make sure to get back to you. Make sure you hit subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next video.